Wild harvesting is an awesome way to collect your own food and it's delicious and free. Today I'm going to teach you how to harvest, process, and make your own dandelion root tea. It's an awesome spring tonic, great for the liver, delicious, and you can find dandelions anywhere. We typically harvest dandelion greens and roots in the spring because that's the best time for flavor and quality. The greens are very palatable, not very bitter, and the roots are have the most nutritional quality. Dandelions have a distinctive look most of us are familiar with, a rosette of toothed leaves sometimes tinged with purple in the spring. As the leaves start to develop, the dandelion rosette leaves will turn a little brighter green. They're good at this stage or when they have purple, either one is good. Since we are going primarily for roots today, this is my handy dandy tool of choice. You can get it at any local hardware store. It's inexpensive and it's really great for getting those long tap roots out. So I will show you how to use my handy dandy tool. Uh, slide the tip of the tool under the greens and push straight down into the ground next to the root. Give a little push one way or another to loosen up the soil and go around to the other side of the plant and repeat the same thing. In moist soil, it'll come up really quick and you'll have a nice root. In areas that are grassy or have lots of other weeds or that have larger clumps of dandelions, you may need to use your digging tool on all four sides but it works slick as a whistle. It's really cool. Here you go. Here you can see how I do it. So once you have that cluster of roots pulled up, just pull the grass and other roots away, shake off the dirt and look, nice set of roots. Awesome. So we've collected a bunch of dandelions and now we want to wash the roots and the greens thoroughly to remove all the dirt and grit. Use a scrub brush or an old toothbrush if you need to, it's worth it. So here you can see I've left the roots and the greens attached because it makes it a lot easier to clean them both. Now that everything is clean, it's time to cut the roots and the greens apart. Any sharp knife on a cutting board will do. So wait, don't toss out those greens. You can use them in a fresh salad or saute them in butter for a really spinachy, wonderfully flavor. Um, you can look for my video called Spring Forage Saute to see how I do it. It's also totally okay to leave those little flower buds in the center of the greens. They are delicious. What a nice bunch of roots we got here, right? You can see I leave the fine roots on and there is no need to peel them. It's all good stuff. Now time to chop. Here is where a good sharp chopping knife is really helpful. Uh, the more finely chopped the roots are, the faster they'll dry and the, easy, the easier they will be to steep um, for your tea. So go ahead and take the time to do your chopping thoroughly. Now that is a fine pile of nicely chopped dandelion roots. Time to go to the dehydrator. Here you'll want to spread the chopped dandelion roots out on parchment paper. You can buy it at any grocery store. It's similar to wax paper but less waxy. Um, then you dry it at 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 to 48 hours or until the roots are nice and crunchy. So once your roots are dry, you can store them in an airtight container to keep them dry. A clean glass jar with a lid that has a rubber liner works great. If your roots are fully dry, they can be stored for months, usually enough to get you through till next spring when you can resupply your pantry again. Now it's time to make the tea. You get the most flavor and medicinal qualities out of roots when they are cooked rather than just steeped like you would a loose leaf herbal tea. So 
Simmer one to two teaspoons of dried root in two cups of water for 15 to 20 minutes, and then let it steep for one to six hours. Now you filter out the roots that have been steeping and you can drink it right there. You can reheat it, serve it cold, sweeten as desired. You can make a big batch and then store it in the refrigerator too. So there you go. So dandelion roots also make a crazy good soup stock or you can use the dandelion tea as the liquid to cook rice. It adds a really lovely nutty earthy flavor. Try it. You might find that you love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video on dandelion tea and that it has perhaps inspired you to head out and do some harvesting on your own. It's spring and nature awaits.